Hello, and welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll go over how to mark up PDFs like a pro using all the amazing PDF tools created specifically for designers in Morfolio Trace. Working with PDFs is an essential part of the design process, and at Morfolio, we've created a whole range of tools to make this easy and fun. Whether you're putting together a design package or submission, a construction drawing set, a client presentation, or just signing some PDF documents, Morfolio Trace is the perfect PDF markup app for you. Let's see how easy it is to mark up PDFs in Morfolio Trace. The first step to marking up your PDF is to import your PDF file. You can always begin by tapping the plus button up here and then selecting PDF. The Apple Files dialog box will pop up with all of your cloud storage services. You can select files from anywhere, but we recommend using On My iPad because that's the most secure and most reliable way to import PDFs. If you ever have a problem with OneDrive or Dropbox or any other third-party app, move your file over to On My iPad and you won't have any issue bringing it into Trace. So I'm going to pull up this PDF by Arkham Projects, a really amazing architecture office out of Mexico. You can see that the entire PDF document has been imported. The resolution of the PDF is super high. And when I zoom in, you get super precise lines all the way down when you navigate into the smallest parts of the drawing. And now I'm ready to mark up my PDF. The first thing to do is to set your scale. So you can go ahead and tap on the scale button and then you'll see these crosshairs pop up. I always recommend using the largest known dimension on your drawing to get the most accurate reading. So what I'm gonna do is first put the crosshairs close to where my marks are, and then I'm going to zoom in and locate them more precisely on the exact measurement that I need. I know that this measurement is 88.21 meters, so I will go ahead and input that here, switching over to metric and then inputting the 88.21. And now when I hit the green check, you'll see that the scale is registered and I can turn on my ruler and I'm assured that my entire drawing is scaled properly. I get that 88 meter measurement and I'm ready to start marking up my PDF. Now I have all of my design tools right here at hand my rulers, triangles, all my skill tools, and more. And what I'm going to do here is zoom into this area and I'm going to extend this part of the design a bit. Now you'll see as I'm drawing, my lines aren't quite coming in as crisp as my background. The reason for that is that I didn't add a smaller layer to the area that I'm drawing after zooming in really far into the PDF. So I'll undo my lines and then I will add a new smaller layer to get better resolution and when I draw my lines now, you can see how crisp and beautiful they come in. Next, I'll use a stencil to add in a revision cloud here. And then I'll go in and add a dimension to show how long this extension should be. The last thing that I'll do is add a text box here with a little note for the person who's going to make these changes to extend this part to the grid. If you want to learn more about how to use these awesome tools to mark up your PDFs and trace like this, check out the caption below where you can find links for videos that go in depth about each of them. One common question is how to change a PDF underlay when you have an updated PDF. To do this, go to your PDF layer, tap on the three dot button, and then change layer. This will allow you to go to your cloud drive, navigate to the updated PDF page, and then tap on the preview to upload that PDF. And now you'll see that your PDF has been updated. One thing to note is that this new PDF that you've imported does not maintain the full vector resolution. So it will be rasterized when you import it. Once you've opened up your PDF, there's an awesome new way to navigate through your pages. You'll see down at the bottom is the brand new PDF slider, which allows you to tap or drag to any new page, quickly switching between pages in your PDF. What's cool about this tool as well is that there is a small handle on the left-hand side that you can tap and minimize the PDF slider so it gets out of the way so you can continue drawing. You can, of course, tap on the icon again to bring up the full slider, navigate to a new page, and continue drawing. Another thing is if you are a lefty, you can actually drag it over to the right side of the screen so it gets out of your way over on the left-hand side and your hand won't bump it. Drag it to the center, 
to open it up again. And you can also, of course, use the tap to open and close it. And if you wanna turn the slider completely off, you can go to the wrench, go to preferences, and there is a toggle to turn the slider off completely. Um, or if you want it back, you can always toggle it back on. One last thing to note about the PDF slider is that when you change pages, you are resetting the undo system. So if you draw a line on one page, switch pages with the PDF slider, and then go back to that page, you won't be able to undo your previous actions because the undo system has been reset. If you're enjoying this video, please grab your Apple Pencil and tap the like and subscribe buttons. This small gesture goes a long way for our small team and we really appreciate your support. There is another way to view your PDF pages, either in single page mode or in a thumbnail view. If you tap this button on the top left, you'll be able to open up your PDF manager and view all of your PDF pages. You're first brought into the single page view where you can scroll through your PDF pages. This is really great for giving presentations or having a meeting and talking through the different pages in your PDF. You also have the ability to switch to the thumbnail view though, where you can view all of your pages next to each other. We also just added this amazing new thumbnail slider, which allows you to adjust the size of your thumbnails. So you can either increase the size of the thumbnails to see the previews a little bit better, or decrease the size to see them all on the same page. There's also a secret gesture in this view mode where you can pinch to either make the thumbnail smaller or larger. When you're ready to select a new page and start drawing again, all you have to do is tap on that page twice to first select it and tap it again to open it up in the drawing mode. Another way to navigate to another page from the PDF manager is by tapping on a page to select it and then tapping the back button on the top left to return to your drawing mode. When you do need to make more edits to your PDF, including adding pages, duplicating, deleting, or rearranging, you can do that in your PDF manager. First, open your PDF manager and then tap edit on the top right. You'll see that a toolbar appears at the bottom with a lot of different options. The first one allows you to add a new PDF page. By doing this, you've added a new blank PDF page that's the same size as your other pages, and if you press and drag it, you can rearrange it and place it wherever you need it in your PDF. If I don't need that blank page, I can just select that PDF page and hit the delete button to remove it. If I need to duplicate a page to either do iterations or show different options in my drawings, I can simply tap on the page that I want to duplicate and hit the duplicate button on the bottom. This also works for multiple pages. If I select two pages and then hit the duplicate button, it will duplicate both of those pages. And again, I'll just go in and hit delete to remove those pages. You also have the ability to move pages around when you're in this mode. One way to do that is by selecting the pages that you want to move and then tapping the move pages button on the bottom. You can then select exactly where you want to relocate those pages and hit move to and your pages will be moved. You can also move pages around by simply selecting them and then pressing and holding until they pop up. Then you can move them around to any place in your document. The last thing that you can do when you are in edit mode in your PDF manager is that you can add titles to your pages. You'll see that there are these gray boxes under each of your pages and if you tap on any of them, you can add a new title to label your PDF pages. Once you've made all your markups and are ready to share your PDF, there are a couple ways to export it. If you just want to share the current page that you're working on, you can tap the export button on the top right of the drawing area. To get the full resolution of your PDF underlay, select best quality PDF and then on the next screen, select background. This will ensure the highest quality for your PDF export. Tap the export button again in the top right, and you'll be able to share this or email it to whomever you need. If you need to export your entire PDF though, you can go to your PDF manager and then tap the export button on the top right. This will allow you to share all of the pages in your PDF at once. 
You also have the ability to export selected pages though too. Simply tap the edit button and then select the pages that you want to export. Then tap export on the bottom and you'll be able to share just the pages that you have selected. The last thing to know about working with PDFs in Morfolio Trace is that you don't always need to import a PDF to create one. So let's say that we created a drawing in Trace like this amazing plan by Russ Tyson and we want to duplicate this plan to draw the second level of this house. You still have access to your PDF manager and so if you open it up, you'll see your single PDF page. You can then tap edit, select the single page, and then tap the duplicate button on the bottom and you'll be able to make a copy of this page. And essentially I'm turning this single page project into a multi-page one. I can hit done and then select my new page and open it up in the drawing mode. And so now I can go in and turn off the layers that I don't need for my new drawing and maybe get it down to just the walls so I can build up my new plan. Now, if I go back to the PDF manager, you can see that I have my two separate plans. I can export this as a multi-page document and share it as a PDF. And essentially I've begun creating my own drawing set. And that's everything you need to know about marking up PDFs in Morfolio Trace. We've made these tools specifically for designers to be able to draw to scale and mark up their PDF drawing sets. Plus, we've added some amazing new tools to make navigating through your pages a total breeze. We hope you love these new updates and we can't wait to see what you make. When you share your work, tag Morfolio and use the hashtag Morfolio Trace so we can see what you've shared and we'd love to feature your work. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.